We just heard from Efren and Danielle. It still feels like summer outside, but the seasons will change in just a couple of weeks. I mean, I'm waiting for that to happen because this morning Daniel Bond said we were like 11 degrees above normal. It's time, Mother Nature. It Turn the time. thermostat down. But when the thermostat goes down a little bit, unfortunately, those flu numbers go up. We know that to be true. News 19's Rosemary Belts explains to us what we need to know as the flu season gets closer. And I haven't even thought about getting my shot yet. But is it time, Rose? Uh, yes, it is, Andrea. And so thank you for that introduction because the influenza viruses, yes, plural, since there's more than one kind of virus, actually circulate all year. The Centers for Disease Control says while the season may not officially start until October, parents and doctors know the flu does begin circulating when kids go back to school. DHEC's most recent flu report shows sporadic activity here in South Carolina. 25 hospitals reported 10 influenza associated admissions. According to a 2018 CDC study, about 8% of the U.S. population gets sick from flu each season. The same study found the age groups most likely to get the flu are kids up to age 4 and adults between 50 and 64 years old. And children younger than 18 are more than twice as likely to develop symptomatic flu infection than adults over age 65. Now, time for a flu refresher. Because the flu is different from a cold, it usually starts suddenly and can include some or all of these symptoms. Fever or feeling chills, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, headaches, muscle or body aches, and fatigue. Some people do suffer diarrhea or vomiting, but that's more common in children. Most people who get the flu recover in a, flu in a few days. Um, sometimes it can take a couple of weeks. So the CDC says there are individuals at greater risk for flu, for flu complications, and in some cases, death. People with, diabe with diabetes, pregnant women, individuals 65 or older, kids under five, people with asthma and other chronic lung, liver, kidney, or heart diseases, and anyone with a compromised immune system. Bottom line, anyone can get the flu. One of the best ways to prevent it get the vaccine. It's already available. If you have questions about the flu vaccine, check with your doctor or pharmacist. So the CDC is urging people to consider quitting vaping as they are investigating a fifth death potentially linked to e-cigarettes. As of last Friday, the CDC says more than 450 people in 33 states, including here in South Carolina, have gotten sick from vaping related illnesses. While investigators look into exactly what is causing this epidemic, they say young adults and pregnant women should not use e-cigarettes. Adults who don't use tobacco should also avoid using e-cigarettes. You should never buy products like THC cartridges off the street or black market. If you do use these products, do not modify the cartridges or the pen itself. And lastly, if you are a smoker and you want to quit, Talk to your doctor about other options aside from using e-cigarettes. A new survey of adults who use e-cigarettes finds the flavors are what attracted many to start vaping. This is especially the case among young adults ages 18 to 24 who had never smoked traditional cigarettes. The American Heart Association also found users of flavored e-cigarettes were three and a half times more likely to say they were addicted to the products compared to non-flavored users. And if you like to take naps, listen up. A new study says they may be good for your heart. Research published in the journal Heart found that adults who took one or two daytime naps a week had a 48% lower risk of cardiovascular problems than non-nappers the length of the nap did not influence the findings. So those are your health headlines for today. In the studio, I'm Rosemary Belts. Ladies, nap, no? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I need to a nap. I get it. Brady will always say, Mommy, if we give you 10 minutes, you'll sleep for nine of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I will. If we did this right mm -hmm. now, Dars, and just waited for, <laughs> you know, 60 seconds, I'd be asleep. You'd be asleep. Mm -hmm. Naps are good. We just heard it. There's the proof. Help Don't feel bad. Cardiovascular health. It's good for your heart. You know, and I, I remember when my kids were young and they would fight sleep. 
And I'm like, I would fight for sleep For now. sleep, exactly. <laughs> Just it's one backwards. more hour, one more hour. Now, what about those accidental naps that our older relatives take where my mom's like watching TV and mm -hmm. then I'm like, Mama, you like that part? And she's like, what? <laughs> Do those count, I wonder? I think those count because my daddy always says he's checking his eyelids for cracks. <laughs> Just looking in here, see if anything's correct. Just closing my eyes for Is a minute. It resting uh -huh. my eyes. All right, we got to check in on our forecast and find out when these temperatures are going to slide back into the 80s. Chief Meteorologist Efren Aponte is up next.